Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Yiggity, bleh, Diggity. Wow, I can't even do the intro. Bottom right hand corner, we have Bate as the yellow Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Style as the blue Protoss. This is on Polypoid, which I was discussing with Twitch chat that I just enjoy saying. Again, this is broadcast to a live Twitch audience. That I like saying as well. Game one, Style just, I don't know, off in his build order. Bate really able to capitalize on it. And it was. I'm not sure what the decision making. I feel like he was just. Yeah, something was going on in that game one. Clearly. Because he didn't put that gateway down. I, I'm wondering if that's what flustered him. It seemed like he was a little bit behind. He was able to stabilize for a minute there, but then those run buys just ended up uh, really costing him. I think. So, if all is gone according to plan, by the way, this is the 22nd. Sorry, 23rd. 23rd of April. And day two, you've. I don't know if the meteor shower is still going on, but check it out. You're getting pretty close to a nice full moon. It will be the flower full moon. And I guess I should mention as a follow-up, now is a really good time to plant things. So I'm technically casting this on Earth Day. And they call the pre... Actually, just again on the astronomy kick, they call different moons different things. So the last moon, they called the worm moon, I guess. And part of that is, is it's like to remind everybody to plant stuff because that's when worms are in the soil and that's when they're like doing their thing where you can kind of get that good harvest going. Um, so, if, you know, go, if you're into it, go plant flowers or veggies. I have some friends that have been doing that, making their own veggies in COVID lockdown. It's a really good time to do it, I think. Oh, poor Ursidon, so low on health. Probes crossing each other. We do have equivalent builds. Looks like we have an assimilator. Oh, no, just kidding. Double gateway here from Styles. We'll see if it works out on this map. Again, I don't like the, the double gateway openers on ramped maps. Just because I feel like if you play it properly, it, unless your opponent screws up, you really don't, you're not able to capitalize on it. Anyway, so Worm Moon is happening right now. They also call it the Bird Moon for some reason, maybe because the birds eat the worms, I don't know. Um, and then coming up is the Flower Moon, uh, I think in four days. So if you plant stuff now, in theory, by the end of somewhere in the Flower Moon, you'll end up with something to harvest. Styles trying to do some probe harassment, actually getting significant damage on that probe. Only a single probe in gas and a second pylon. Still no simulator, opposite side. So we're just seeing a flood. And actually, the second zealot was built not in the. That's going to delay things a bit because that usually what you want to do is have that second zealot in that second gateway, so it's building a little bit faster. But pylon was missed, so I think Styles is supply capped. Ooh, yeah, Styles is off today. Just really off. Supply capping himself this early with a two gate push, which uh, yeah, I'm wondering what's going on if he's suffering from lack of sleep as well. Zealot now in the lines trying to get rid of that scouting probe. And a cybernetic score is being built with the second zealot just in case this probe's seeing the two gate, but I'm not sure if he real I'm not sure if he's getting a good pylon count. The problem with pylons here is when you run into the opponent's base and you count pylons, you're never sure whether he's being sneaky or has, I don't know, something out there or not. Anyway, cybernetic score being built, assimilator is up. Styles though, moving the second zealot out, but this first zealot if it gets its wherewithal, if it, if it has presence of mind, even here, like two zealots in the Dragoon should be able to clean up any zealots making its way across. That zealot actually making its way back. That probe is blocked in currently, but should be able to provide plenty of scouting information. And it's going to be a while before this cybernetic core is able to transition into producing Dragoons for Takoshi. So, or Toshko. So Bate, getting range now, he's going to be significantly ahead on Dragoon range. He has options. He can decide to go... I mean, it's... Really, he, he's got the ball. He can do whatever he wants to try to win this match, honestly, at this stage. And he has a myriad of options. I would put him ahead just because of these opening builds. Thing Styles, even though he... I mean, he's not behind in overall count. He's getting two Dragoons out now. Nothing's lost. He does have the two Zealots blocking his ramp. Um, he's only going to be behind on range currently. Uh, because that cybernetic score is coming back so late. So, he's not out of the match. But... Things are, and this is this four probes. Interesting. Uh, Lone dragoon from Bate wandering up, trying to disrupt things on the ramp, maybe to get additional scouting information. He's going to see that there's no expansion of the natural, so Styles wasn't going for anything crazy. It looks like Bate is probably the way he's saving up here. It looks like he's motioning to maybe go one gate, one gate Robo into expansion, perhaps. He's floating near 400 minerals. I think he wants to get more information before he dedicates to this. We'll see. Cybernetic score spinning. And this is the, I think he was thinking, okay, I know I have superior dra Dragoon range, so let me go ahead and utilize that while I've got it. Um, but opting not to, backing off, yeah. So I think this probe is going to build our Nexus, and he's going to go straight to Robo. 
We'll see if we go third gateway from Styles. So three gateway might be able to get something accomplished depending on micro. If he opts to go for Robo himself, like the two gate Robo build could be trouble. We'll have to see. There's the there's the Nexus. That's going to give Bate a significant economic lead and tech lead, both directions. And we do see, here's the thing though, Styles is continuing to pump units. So it looks like he might do a push, establish some map control off these two gateways. There's the observatory first and no robotics facility to follow. One thing with polypoid though, is even with the superior dra uh, dragoon counts in smaller numbers, there's a lot of ramps you can work with to kind of push into this. And the one thing that I don't like from Bate is he kind of sacrificed vision on the natural here and kind of the units being able to pour out. So that, I think it's because he wanted to be able to engage as he could here on the high ground. But for the moment, Styles, if he decides to push out instead of just going two gate into expand, he will have a superior army count. And ooh, we might decide, that might be the trigger that makes him decide to do so. Cause that is six Dragoons and two Zealots. Sorry, seven Dragoons now, is that right? Seven, seven Dragoons and two Zealots pressing out. I think he was a little bit worried about an attack, so he's actually moving Zealots to the north uh, to maybe do a run by. Unfortunately for him, now a second gateway being plopped, a robotics facility up, and a reaver being produced for Styles, or sorry, for uh, Bate. So Bate, I feel like, should be okay. Should be okay. And he is not making any motions to try to get aggressive here. He is just going to gate into Nexus, which is going to put him severely economically behind in about two minutes. Very nice. I like that. Motion around just to check that because you have no vision there. And you can see this is why Polypoid forces you into more of these sort of cautious defensive stance, even when you have the superior armor count, because you just don't know what's up here. And engaging on these corners along these ramps can be disastrous, even with uh, smaller unit versus unit counts. Nice Dragoon spread. You can see they're actually even spaced a little bit in case there was a, a Reaver here. No second assimilator just yet, but a third gateway being plopped down. And that Observer... Where'd that Observer go? Looking for the Observer close and tight. So just in case DTs were being built. Robotic support bay just... So here's the thing. Robotic support bay just finishing. Third gate coming up now for Styles. Nexus is only halfway finished. Nexus has been done for quite a while now for Bate. So even though the probe count is even, because it's single patch versus single patch and double gas, that's going to be really the big advantage. Fourth gateway plopping down. Bate is going to take a sizable, a significant, I'm not going to say sizable, a significant mid-game lead. One thing I would like to see is once the second Reaver's out is, nope, he's going to go straight shuttle. I'm curious if he's going to decide to be aggressive or not. Observer sneaking in for Styles. He's going to see this very well saturated natural. It looks like Bate saw that Shimmer, so he's going to move up, try to take out that Observer, and wow, skates out with one health and might have an opportunity to sneak back in. Sometimes what you can do is you can... That's actually kind of... I'm kind of curious if there's some sort of timing you could pull off where you try to draw the Observer down and sneak a DT in. I don't think so, though. That would be a lot of gas, and that would leave you... That's That would be a crazy cheese. But here's the thing. With that Observer on that corner, that's going to force this shuttle to play a little bit more defensive and not do any sort of sneaky shenanigans um, out across the field. Bate, feeling it, though, he's like, okay, I know I have the economic advantage. I'm going to go ahead and press. With that Observer, he's going to see that those Zealots are kind of staggered here. And with the Reavers coming in at an angle, sometimes they can be dropped off and kind of neutralize that high ground advantage. This is about even... But keep in mind, this is as far as just ground troops, but that's two Reavers in the shuttle, which can be the difference, particularly with that vision and range where they can just shoot uphill. Because firing uphill, that's one Zealot down. The other one very injured. Firing uphill does not... Ooh, is that Observer going to get taken out? Okay, so that'll be the... That might cause Bate to think twice about trying to take that high ground. And you can see how much, yeah, these guys respect that high ground too, because it's just the lack of information. Slow Reaver crawling to that forward position. It's going to be four gates worth of production, a reaver, and significant, I think, about equivalent attack forces. So things stabilizing here in the mid-game. Bate again with that lead. He's going to go ahead and grab additional gateways. And, ooh, Styles deciding to hop down and give up that high ground advantage. He's lucky that Bate didn't just, wasn't in position to just swing on top of that. Still two more gates being plopped down from Styles, and things have just about equalized. Somehow, 
Styles has the superior probe count. 44 versus 39. So good job macroing on his part. That might actually win him the match. Bate trying to swing around. I think he wants to go ahead and check this 9 or maybe try to sneak around and get an attack here. That observer spots it. Observers are so important on Polypoid to be able to catch these exact sort of shenanigans. You can attack from this angle, but this is still a bottleneck. That Reaver's on the high ground, so might get some free shots. Let's see. Nice engagement. That is a huge blast on those initial Dragoons, which might be the difference in this fight. That Reaver's exposed, getting scooped up in the shuttle, and this Reaver free firing, but it looks like this is a lot of forces from Bate diving down. Wow. But the Reaver shots from above are going to send him back. Plus the close reinforcement point. So despite being up a shuttle and having two Reavers, the high ground and the positioning are going to win things for Styles. Styles pressing that advantage. He's now up 20 supply. And he might actually be able to just straight up chase the rest of this attack force down. He'll be lucky to get out with uh, Reavers and just stay in this match. He is upgrading weapon one. He is up to, looks like what, we got six, sorry, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a Citadel of Dune. Eight gateways, Citadel of Dune. It's going to see that nine o'clock base. Might be able to get something done. I like that he moved up to this high ground. He's like, okay, I'm going to lose these Dragoons. So let me just try to get done what I can get done. And might get a free drop. Well, no, okay, so there are Dragoons there. He's going to camp this here. That's going to pin maybe a couple Dragoons at home. And functionally, though, otherwise, he is kind of sacrificing, what is this? A handful of Dragoons. So basically, he's pinning a couple Dragoons in position, but that's not worth two Reavers, really. And he might end up losing that shuttle as well. So Styles playing the mid... I, it feels like he is back on his feet. Templar Archives now upgrading. Bate still has a huge amount of production, though. Because keep in mind, that was a lot of gateways, and we're just up against six comparatively. Shuttle speed, Citadel of Adun plopping down, and you're going to have weapons one. Which is going to give Bate an opportunity to go ahead and attack in. But he's going to have to do so without his Reavers. Or with... Ooh, Maybe. Okay, the Reaver's actually pulled out of position. This is this might open up a drop for Bate if he's just patient with it because Styles removing those defensive Dragoons at that natural will try to keep an eye and just as I say that, moving in, might get some kills and oh no! Good pro kills. Oh, this a little bit of a dud. That's kind of a nice pylon position to kind of disrupt those Scarab shots. Finally, the Dragoon's moving the rest of the way in but that is going to even up the probe count. Also, that's going to give time for Bate to start producing a sizable army. Killed a couple probes. Styles continuing to accelerate in that overall probe count. The Observer pinned on that Reaver now. This is going to keep him more in a defensive stance. He's got three Reavers on the front. This Observer seeing a lot of the... I think he got a good look on what's inside of the base. A lot of Zealots. So it's, I think what Bate's hoping for is that a round of Flooded Zealots with that Weapons 1. Ooh. This was just, I think, maybe lucky timing? Maybe. On Bate, he's swinging back around, looking for an opportunity to drop. I think he's hoping that level 1 weapons plus leg speed will be able to sneak through and push through. Styles up to 48 probes. He does have three bases, so if he can fend off this attack that Styles is, is presenting, he will be in a strong position in the mid-game. However, he is at a significant gateway deficit. And the other trick of it is, is there's going to be Archons here. I was wondering if we were going to see Psystorm or Archons, and it looks like it's going to be Archons. That's a lot of beef. It's a lot of beef. To press out there. This is 151 supply for Bate, 139, but free hits on the third. Reaver takes a little bit of damage, but that's worth it. And taking the high ground, denying it. So where this might have been an attack for, from Bate, instead he's going to have to push in his own high ground. Oh, this is not how he wanted to engage it. Nice positioning. Also, the Archon's eating a lot of shots from these Reavers. Observer taken out on that corner just in case there was a DT, and this might actually open up a DT uh, attack, but you can just see overwhelming forces here. Bate was producing units that entire time. So might be able to clean this attack force up. Definitely gets the shuttle. It's going to clean out the Reavers. More reinforcements making way there across the map, but Styles is, needs to be careful. He needs to have units on the ground to defend the counterattack. He's only got four Dragoons here. It looks like he has a single Reaver there. I think I missed the drop happening in the natural while all that was happening. So it doesn't... I think it got cleaned up by these four Dragoons in that cannon because we, we didn't see a drop in equivalent probes. But if Styles recognizes the opportunity, he should be able to dive into the natural 
and just wipe out everything that Styles has. This is just too many Dragoons. That's four Dragoons. He's trying to split off. He has one. He's going to go for a pincer maneuver here. Re-engaging. Keep in mind there's reinforcing zealots that can speed across the map coming from that corner. They're going to go to the north first to try to chase that down. Re-engaging. Coming back around the Dragoons. Trying to work on that reader first. Also, it's going to be weapons one versus weapon zero. So that's another ground advantage. Bate now making his way up into the third of Styles, and Styles does not have enough to defend this. Maybe he can evacuate these probes and still maintain something. A counterattack force again without speed, and Archon sitting there to kind of buffer those forces back, and if he just focuses on that Nexus, he should be able to take that Nexus out. Might lose his forces for it. Probes trying to create some disruption. They're moving back and forth across the, the forces. Nice Zealot Blockade. And wow, a pincer now on the rest of the Dragoons, and this is turning into a disaster for Styles. So not only is he losing all of his probes because he was trying to use them in that off offensive defense, offensive defense, trying to use them as part of his defense, but the rest of his army was pincered. He's no longer mining at his third. Bate taking his third up, and he's probably going to end up losing this 9 o'clock base in the follow through. Oof. Now, yeah. Now, Bate can just walk back in, take this... <laughs> You're going to try to sneak out a probe, maybe. That is not going to happen. That's almost like a wasted... Wasted 50 right there. Shuttle speed is up. Styles needs to do something miraculous with this shuttle. Maybe if he can... So he sees that third. No probes there yet. Bate actually keeping a little bit lower. Drop here. Is he going to get much? Okay, there's one. Ugh, Archon's on top of it, though. Two, not a mo honestly, not enough. It was an okay drop, a little bit of disruption. The Zealot providing some distractions so the rest of the units can get back. Bate now regathering. He's kind of cleared out everything that was out in the map. There is a single Dragoon being sneaky. Looks like somehow it managed to maybe get three pro kills. Styles is not out of this yet, but it is not looking good for him. Lost the third. Bate has his third secured. Archon being morphed on his side. Some Psy Storms and Dark Templar are on opposite sides of the field being produced. One critical thing, Weapons 1 is up, and it's going to be a while. And Weapons 2 are com is coming online momentarily. And it is going to be a while before Styles has Weapons 2. And Weapons 2 Zealots are really dangerous in all matchups, particularly when they have that leg speed underneath them. There's a reason they're used in every single matchup. So Psy Storm may be a DT. Maybe a sneaky DT from Styles could be the difference in this match. If he can sneak around, there is a cannon here. And a second cannon being produced. There's no cannon at the natural. And I don't see any observer at the natural as well. So if that DT can get out in the field, maybe something magical can happen. Unfortunately, I think while I wasn't paying attention, it died. Uh, to that observer attack force somewhere out there. Mm. Alright. Supply lead to Bate. E economic lead to Bate. I like kind of the zealots he's kind of putting out is just kind of... I think he realizes the strength in his position, so he's just sending out observers. Trying to catch what he can. Style still has the probe count lead, but honestly it doesn't mean anything. Because he doesn't have a base to mine out of. And any... I think Bate realizing, kind of honestly, a death grip that he has on this match at this stage. He's just wandering around, making sure that no ninja expansions have been taken. If he's just careful, he should be able to make his way back in this match. That Reaver looking to sneak in, pull some disruption at this third. Does get a significant amount of probe kills, but the shuttle's gone, and I don't think that was an equivalent. That wasn't uh, enough. Styles moving out. A lot of Zealot's Dragoons, two Archons, but look at this. Just look at the blobs on the minimap comparatively. This is not going to be a fair fight. Plus, level two weapons. The one advantage he might get is he's going to catch portions of this army out of position. So where he is got a, kind of a concentrated force, it's a little bit spread out from Bate, but Bate cycling back around, re-engaging, able to take out a forward observer. Mm, Style's still in a lot of trouble. And the Zealot, you can see, just wandering, making sure that no ninja expansion is being taken. Now Style's being engaged, cannot escape. Good Psy Storm. Another good Psy Storm over the Archons. That was the perfect Psy Storm over a Zealot wall. And there's GG from Styles. Oof. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how the playlist thing works out for you guys. Where it's just the one a day. And if you like it or if you don't like it, we'll do it for a couple days, see how it goes. If that doesn't work, I'll try to figure something out. Again, it depends on energy and time. Uh, but yeah, GG. 
hope you guys had for <laughs> I want to say happy Earth Day, but it's like the day after. So I hope hope you guys whatever today is when you're watching this. I hope you guys had a fantastic day. Thanks for listening. <laughs>